Welcome, everyone. We are glad you are here at St. Peter's for our Fellowship of Prayer. We are in the midst of getting ready for um, really our first gathering at uh, St. Peter's in our new Fellowship Hall, and uh, we'll be welcoming the vestry and some of the wardens later for that. As we gather now for evening prayer, Laura, thank you for being the reader tonight. We appreciate your presence. I'm just making sure that we have our, us up and online with the broadcast. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you are watching on Facebook, please consider joining us. And here comes Bill Carr. Laura, will you text, will you message Bill Carr and let him know that he's got one of the readings, whichever one you want to give him. And uh, we will make that happen. All right, here we go. An apology to those of you who are particular stickler for um, making sure that the daily lectionary happens correctly. Um, Bill will laugh at this. I, uh, I actually flipped the evening prayers. So we did Thursday last night, we're doing Wednesday tonight. Um, so anyone who wanted to, to uh, pretend that today didn't happen can pretend it's Wednesday again. The only downside is that you're still gonna have to live through Thursday. You know, it's, it's, it's a reiteration of Groundhog Day, like the Bill Murray movie. All right, here we go, evening prayer for this evening. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. My brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Portion of Psalm 119 tonight, I'll offer the odd. Please respond with the even. Your hands have made and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you shall see me and rejoice because I have hoped in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have humbled me. Let your steadfast love become my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Let your mercy come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame, because they have subverted, subverted me with guile. As for me, I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me so that you may, they may know your decrees. May my heart be blameless in your statutes so that I may not be put to shame. My soul languishes for your salvation. I hope in your word. My eyes fail with watching for your promise. I ask, when will you comfort me? For I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, yet I have not forgotten your statutes. How long must your servant endure? When will you judge those who persecute me? The arrogant have dug pitfalls for me. They flout your law. All your commandments are enduring. I am persecuted without cause. Help me. They have almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your steadfast love, spare my life so that I may keep the decrees of your mouth. The Lord exists forever. Your word is firmly fixed in heaven. 
Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth and it stands fast. By your appointment, they stand today for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my misery. I will never forget your precepts for by them you have given me life. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked lie in wait to destroy me, but I consider your decrees. I have seen a limit to all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading from Paul's letter to the church in Galatia. Tell me, you who desire to be subject to the law, will you not listen to the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by a slave woman and the other by a free woman. One, the child of a slave, was born according to the flesh. The other, the child of the free woman, was born through the promise. Now, this is an allegory. These two women are two covenants. One woman, in fact, is Hagar from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. Now, Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to the present Jerusalem, for she is in slavery with her children. But the other woman corresponds to the Jerusalem above, and she is free, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you childless ones, you who bear no children. Burst into song and shout, you who endure no birth pangs. For the children of the desolate woman are more numerous than the children of the one who is married. Now you, my friends, are the children of the promise, like Isaac. But just as at that time the child who was born according to the flesh persecuted the child who was born according to the spirit, so it is now also. But what does the scripture say? Drive out the slave and her child, for the child of the slave will not share the inheritance with the child of the free woman. So then, friends, we are children, not of the slave, but of the free woman. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from John. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. He said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That's one of those words. Well done. The second canticle, the song of Simeon together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, 
whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant, and grant us your salvation. salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let, Let your people, people sing with joy. With joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only, For only in you can in we safety. live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide, and guide us in the way of, justice, the way and of truth. justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among, all, among nations. all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the, hope the hope of the poor be taken, be taken away. away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us, us with your, with Holy, your Spirit. Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, and in our time grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And by your intercessions and thanksgivings. Pray for Anne-Marie and for Bill as she begins treatment. Pray for Elizabeth as she anticipates scans tomorrow. Pray for all those who are struggling this night with unease of heart, body, mind, or soul. Pray for healing for Betty and for Ralph, Jennifer and Ed, for all those who are exposed to the elements this evening. Pray that they may find shelter and peace and rest. Give thanks for the second soft open day of our shop at St. Peter's and for the good spirit and warmth that is being enjoyed as we get used to this refreshed space and pray for our vestry and wardens and council of wardens as they gather tonight to celebrate this occasion. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. 
but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, Laura and Bill, is Anne Marie in the background there? No, she's um, off yelling at people. Oh, okay. All good. All good. Yeah. We are so grateful to be able to gather and close out our worship week. We are so blessed to have you all with us. And uh, thank you for being here in our virtual space. But also look forward to joining you in real time this coming Sunday when we gather at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. And uh, in all things, know that we continue to pray and give thanks for the life of Christ we share together. May we be guided in grace and peace and blessing. And please, if you have to go out tonight, be wary of the fog. Drive slowly. Keep your lights on. Keep the low beams on. Don't put the high beams up. And take care of your neighbor. For now, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.